Well, hello and good morning. Welcome back to the channel. We're on Wednesday, the 20th of March at the moment. Just out doing our checks at a wet Newark this morning. It's been raining most of the night in here. But it's dry now for doing our checks. That's the main thing. That's made me happy. So we're heading to Normanton this morning. We've got a eight o'clock booking up at IPL International Procurement Limited or Logistics or something like that so we've got a heavy reefer on at the minute full of grapes to head up there with to deliver so we've just come past that court to six this morning so we'll get back in the truck get fired up and start making our way north to Normanton There we go, we're on the move. 26 minutes of driving we've done. We're 39 mile away from the job. Up at Whitwood. So we're doing all right. It's booked for eight o'clock. It's got us at 10 past seven at the moment. So we're all good. I'm hoping we might be able to see the sunshine today. I don't think we've seen it much over the last couple of days. It's just been overcast and gray. No, welcome to spring, eh? Welcome to spring, but yeah, I believe the empty box we're going to be taking back down the London Gateway today. So we'll get, get a good drive down again and then we'll see where we end up from there. Um, it's all up for debate at the moment. It's all up for debate. There's no set in stone. I'm not even asked, really. To put note on the um, tablet that we've got for, for the PDA, so... We're not sure where we're heading after this, but well, apart from south, <laughs> but yeah, tired today again. Just tired. Been a long couple of days, but we're getting there. We're certainly getting there. Try and get past this truck as well. We're doing 50 mile an hour. We're going to struggle up this hill, we're going to lose all our speed. Another car coming up, that wagon behind will start overtaking me probably. Oh, that's lane detection warning saying that I'm going out over the lines but we're not. It's just picking up where the uh, little dry bit is for about trucks drive over, drive over the um, drive over the road and just leave the tyre marks on it picking that up. So. Typically, trucks sped up in front now. Can I catch him? This one should get past him. That's just other tuckers. There we go. We'll just sit behind these now. Then not wanting, not wanting to go flat out, but we're gonna have to break now. There we go. Trucks done it automatically. So yeah, if it's steady going. Yeah, you know, I say I'm just just tired. Just wanna. Just want to sleep at the minute. It's especially mornings like this when it's dark and miserable. Don't give you much motivation to keep going, does it? Or to get going, but you know, we'll keep going, we'll get there, and hopefully we'll see the sun. Okay, so we are on site here at IPL. I think we're gonna be going on the very first bay that we can see a bay one when we can get round to be on but the bays are 40 minutes so we just come up to 20 to 8 so we're just waiting for a free bay we usually go into bay one so i imagine that's one we're going to go on to soon so hopefully we're not too long before we can get on the bay and um start getting tipped and it's busiest i've seen it this morning i've never seen it this busy usually so hopefully we're not too long well I think our luck could have run out here. We are taking this to Leeds to drop this trailer. And then we are picking up an empty one to go load a box out of freight on the Leeds to go to York for 11 o'clock at the moment. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be taking this down the gateway then or if someone else is gonna get given it to go down with. But 
we'll have to um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm hoping it was just going to be straight back down the gateway with it and not messing about. But if they've got a job to cover. They've got a job to cover, aren't they? So it's a bit of a bit annoying, but uh, part of that. So yeah, we've got a company called Pavers Pavers Shoes out at. Um, We'll get straight out. McGregor's coming in here. Uh, yeah, we've got pavers over at York for 11 o'clock. I've done it before. Um, they're usually a couple of hours tipping there. So yeah, I mean, we might get lucky. We might get this back down the gateway, but I'm not. I won't be surprised if someone else gets this to take down the road, and then we just get local work rest that we eat now. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to just wait and see what happens on that. So, yeah, we've got a nine o'clock VBS booked already at Freightliner Leeds for us. It's a 40 footer we're getting, so I'll try and pick up a decent trailer because I think we could, like I say, I'm. It's, uh, we've had a good run though, haven't we, really, of, of distance work, but it is frustrating if someone else gets this to go down the gateway when we've brought it all the way up, tipped it. And then potentially get, and then potentially get um, stuff for somewhere else. But we'll have to wait and see on that front. We'll have to wait and see. So what we'll do is we'll um, get off and get on towards Leeds. Get this dropped, and I'll pick you up when we get in towards into Freightliner Leeds to um, pick up the box for York. So we're in Freightliner, sort of calmed down a bit now, it's just it's just frustrating when you just get plumbed back onto local when you've had a good when you've had a good run. You know, that box we're not taking it, Felix though are taking it off of us. They're taking that back down the gateway, so that's all good for them. So we're stuck up here now in Leeds at the minute. Um I can't see us really getting anywhere rest at week now. Um I think that's just going to be us local now. Short days. Um, well, I say short days. We're queuing in Freightliner. I've been in here. We've been in here half an hour. We've only moved one space. They stopped using cranes again, so we're only using lifters. Because we've been told tomorrow is busy for us, but everything's out of here, out of Freightliner in Leeds, for us. So you know, if we're two hours queuing for our first job second job's going to get cancelled you know so we're going to do note tomorrow i can see it happening because it's just going to be like this a bit of a pain you know it's just it's, it, it is frustrating but you, know, you just got to try and oh, grin and bear it you know i'm just ready for just ready for moving now ready for immigrating i'm just getting a bit fed up of it you know we've had since sun it last three days you know it's it's just niggling it just keeps going and going and going waiting and waiting you know it doesn't seem to be an end in sight at the minute but hopefully there's going to be at some point you know give give us a bit of a break anything but you know we're just waiting in freightliner queuing all up queuing all the way once we get round here we'll be on main drag to get down to um get down towards the heavy lifter we just need to be able to see the actual queue that lad will join back at queue there so it's one of ours I don't know that lad must be a, must be one at new starts or something like that up at Leeds maybe but yeah they're just not using cranes here I don't know why it does become daft but yeah we lost a good trailer as well it was a good trailer with that as well soft dot worked perfect on it for a new one now we've got a rust bucket, an old old rust bucket of a trailer. So happy days in it. It's all happy days. So I'll get on and stop moaning, and I'll uh, pick you all up when we're getting out with the box. Well, two hours later, we're still in Freightliner. It's just coming up to eleven o'clock, so the job's late. Yep, it was. 
we got a 901 we got in here, so we're pretty much on two hours. We haven't moved in the last probably 40 minutes. Just been sat here. It's very, very slow going. It's just, it does, it does get frustrating. Especially when they run jobs on time, just seeing the office have read my message. Yep. Yeah, it does just get frustrating. It's, you know, jobs are running late now. You know, probably nearly most of the jobs that are in here are probably late that they're picking up. You know, it's, um, you feel like you're getting a losing battle because we get to customer sites. The first thing is they make a comment about you being late, and but in our fault, well, we were here. We we're here in plenty of time to get there for 11 o'clock. Now we're 26 miles away. For a minute, it's got a zero at 20 to 12 now. So we're going to be we're going to be an hour late at least, at least. You know, it's um, it's only for, just say it's just frustrating. And if we're busy tomorrow and we've got a lot out of here tomorrow, and there's a lot coming out of here tomorrow, uh, it's, it's going to be the same story again. I think in it, it's. Just, we just can't be helped. Well, it can be helped. You know, they've got the cranes here. They don't use them at the minute because they can't afford them because they're that old. You know, it's really, really frustrating, especially when we're just sat here. Like I said, I don't think they're even letting people in anymore because there's no one come behind us now. There's two that have come down past here. There's this row here, but then there's nobody else. There's no one else that's come for the heavy lifter here which I find very hard to believe. So I think they've stopped people coming in at the minute. Um, but, you know, what can we do? We're in, we're just, just sat waiting. So we'll continue waiting and hopefully we do get moving at some point soon. Up oh, two and a half hours, we was in Freightliner to get a box on, but we've got it. We're just making our way onto the M1. Uh, we're probably going to have to go to Skeleton Lake as well and grab some diesel, I think, on the way. We're 18% diesel. Um, so I'm probably best grabbing it now, I think. While we're passing in case to send us somewhere else after it, just because it says Northern Containers don't mean it's going to be going to Northern Containers on, on, the, on the tablet. So, yeah, we'll go grab some diesel now just covers it doesn't it because it's I say again because it just says it's 18 percent it can soon drop to 15 and to 12 and then before you know it fuel lights on on these so we'll go fill up the tank of diesel quick splash and dash and then told them about half 12 quarter to um quarter to one we'll be at the um at the job so what's that going to be nearly two hours late two hours late and it's Freightliner, it's good, that's three hour queue in there now. You know, they're queuing right around Lorry Park. And then there's about, probably must be 30 wagons outside waiting for quarter to, to go in on the 12 o'clock VBSs. So, you know, they're looking three hours plus in there at the minute. So there's gonna be a lot of jobs in there that's gonna be affected today and tomorrow, I would have thought. So, now stay tuned for that, see what that looks like. Um, let's say I can, got a feeling it's just going to turn into a bit of a drag tomorrow but you know it's not a great deal we can do about it we um we'll have to just wait and see on that front to be honest we um yeah we just don't know you know it's one bit first time this week we've been surprised you know it was so super easy getting the windscreen sorted yesterday as well so that were that was a surprise we're gonna have to wait here at these lights. Yep, because we can't, we couldn't have gone because we would have blocked the entire road off. But oh well. So yeah, I'll go get in Skelton Lake. I'll go grab some diesel off camera. Try and do it quickly and then pick you up when we're getting closer to this job. Oh God, over at Pavers at uh, York. Well, we're getting to the job. A full tank of diesel, we're 0.6 of a mile away. I think it might just be over, just pop that actually. I think the postcode we've got is wrong. Oh. We're getting here, see what's, see what's happening here. 
got a feeling we might be waiting a while to get on a bait because we're late but we're going to be just under just under an hour and a half late for this job but oh what can we do what could we do it was just straight line and that's just done it i say i've just lost all momentum now to be honest it's just really it's really zapped it from me just sat there for two and a half hours and i say doing no really we just we were just sat there, we've only done 26 miles from Freightliner to here. It just become, just get annoying, especially when we've had a good, good, good couple of runs. You know, just to be doing this. It's, um, it doesn't half niggle. So I'm turning in here. It's a, it is a hidden entrance really. So we're just straight to the back of this estate now, right at the back. I believe. Catherine House, yeah. That one right at the back. So, yeah, I imagine they're gonna be a good couple of hours on this. More so that we're late as well. I know they don't have to pay the, the extra rates for going another three hours now. Because we are late. It's unusual that it's for 11 o'clock as well. It's usually first thing in the morning that you're in here. It's usually like six, seven o'clock or something like that you're here. It's not usually this late. So I don't know if this is just a rebooking or something like that, but we'll have to wait and see. It's, like I say, just before floor to ceiling of shoes. They do have a conveyor belt to make it easier for them, but it will be floor to ceiling full of shoes oh man needed lures while well. we've not not stopped all morning we certainly haven't stopped all morning so yeah we're just straight down the end here the yard opens up and then we'll have to go see him so I'll get off and jump out when we get stopped go see him and uh, we'll go get sorted in here and go get tipped Okay, so we're going on to Bay 3, which is, I'm guessing, next to this white trailer here. Yes, that's going to be a bit tight to spin it, this, I think. Should get around, but at least they're getting it straight on. It's a bonus, I thought we could be waiting a little while, to be honest. But, they're getting it straight on. So hopefully we're not going to be horrendously long then, but... Say never say never in it. Thought so never say never, so we should be able to get this on quite all right actually. Just get a bit busy in the morning as well near the yard. It ain't the biggest yard. Go on, come round. We should get that lined up quite well actually. Straighten her up. And we can just go straight back now. There we go. There we go, we can just get straight back and onto the dock. They'll, they'll put the door up to cut the bolt seal off and then we'll have to pull forward again, I imagine. To open the doors, I think. That's what we usually do. I just can't fully remember most of the time, to be fair. Is that even on, back? There we go. She's on the stoppers, so I'll wait for him to cut the door or cut the bolt seal, and then we can pull forward, do the doors, back on again, and go get sorted. Well, this is us just leaving this job here. It's been a long one. That was another three and a half hours we've been there. She's coming up to. Five to four now. As we're making our way out of the site here. So this is into Haywoods, this box now at uh, at Leeds. And um, right, 
box out, out box out crash these brakes are a bit keen now that the weight's off uh, the box is out of there as well for the morning that we need so it's a bit of a bonus you know we ain't gonna mess about too much because we're gonna be into northern containers then into Haywoods so you know that's a little bit of a bonus in it uh, we've got Bill Billingham 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 Bill, Billingham yeah in the morning for uh, nine o'clock hazardous collection so I'm not 100% sure where to park well we've got options we've got the lead yard or run it up to um, somewhere like Newton Acliffe or something like that well, we've got a split brake to use so I might we've got let me start at half five mm, I might go to Newton Acliffe start at seven in the morning and have a bit of a lie in a bit of a rest tonight but we'll see we've done two hours 52 driving today uh, you know, we can always cut across then in the morning to um, to where we need to go to it's Middlesbrough side we need to go I'm like, um, oh Newton Acliffe's too far up it's going to have to be it's either Exel Bay services or the yard then it's just too far up is the um, is Newton Acliffe to cut over really I think I'll have a look on the map and see what's what as we let this van in because we can't clear the tree. Oh, try and get around here. And there, let's go. There, they're letting us go. So, yeah, I'll we'll have a look on the map, see how far out it's going to be. Oh, Christ, some butthole there, isn't there? And we'll go from there. But I would like to run it, but now at the same time, if we're parking leads, I can just get out on a walk instead. So. Swings and roundabouts, really, where I can get a gear. Slowly starting to play up this truck a bit, actually, with the gear in. It's, um, I think it could be clutch that's going as well on it, because it's, it's like, um, yeah, knew they were going to do that in the car. Good job, it's a good job I looked in the mirror on it and not just indicated to pull out and fly in the pastors. They were behind us coming out of the estate. Um, yeah, it's just, crun just well, not crunching through his gears, it's just going through the gears so quick. You know, it's revving, but we don't seem to be getting the speed up as we need to do. So, you know, cars got pastors and they haven't really got anywhere, have they? She hasn't really got anywhere, but oh well, it is what it is. So, well, um, I'll get off and keep on going. We'll get round to Haywoods and we'll get this box lifted off and get one on for the morning. Uh, we've got a box quickly swapped over. We're actually, the last one with the last lift, they stopped lifting now for the day. Turns out, so. We got perfectly timed in here. Perfect timing. So, it just hit, I think I'm just going to go. Oh, Christ Almighty! <laughs> Truck was clean before we came in here. It's absolutely caked in mud now. Absolutely caked in it. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to go park around at the yard. Right, it's five o'clock. It's you know we started at five. We'll get twelve hours out of today. I've seen traffic heading north, you know, it's, there's like a half hour delay because there's some road works on the A1. I've seen traffic going the other way, so we'll just, I'll just cut my loss and just park down here. We'll start, start hour and a bit earlier in the morning, then maybe start about, it's a nine o'clock job. Might start at six, we'll see. We will certainly see, so we'll just get round to the yard, get parked up. I didn't think that bike were going to stop. Uh, but yeah it's just, it's just been a, it's been one of them days it's been a bit frustrating but it's you know it's we haven't done a lot really have we though so it's been a bit of a resting day as well so you know we can't argue with that to be fair yeah we've got that hazardous job up at Billingham in the morning that's back down the freight line of Leeds so 
we'll see how bad Freightliner Leeds is tomorrow and that will probably determine whether we get a second job or not. Um, hopefully we, we can. But we um, we might not be as lucky, so... I say, just all depends what the what Freightliner Leeds is like. All depends what that is like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get off here and end this video now. Because we should have just ran to yard and parked up then. So I can get everything sorted. There's one car coming down. If he hurries up. If he hurries up in his Audi. If she hurries up in an Audi when she's finished lighting a fag. We can get out like we have done. So yeah, I'm going to get off and end this video here. Just so I can get parked up. Get out on the walk while it's still daylight. And come back tomorrow in a bit of a better mood hopefully. <laughs> or at least a bit more. I was just say zen so i will get off stop rambling on and i will see you all in the next one